mic check one two three mic check one i hope this audio sounds good i've got about 15 minutes to record this this is going to be a one take which i have never done in my entire youtube career wish me luck Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techy. Today I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, it's been quite a long time. We finally got moved into the new house. It's been six or eight months. Uh, got a new camera, um, obviously a new studio. Uh, it's again in my bonus room, uh, but completely different house in a completely different state. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, what hardware you should buy and if you should buy hardware right now. So. NVIDIA has just released their RTX series, the 3000 series. Um, basically can't get one right now. AMD is getting ready to release their RX 6000 series. Uh, Intel, it's been a while. They're still on 14 nanometer. And AMD just announced and released their Ryzen 5000 series. So. What should you buy, if anything, right now? Can you buy anything right now? Um, so it's going to heavily depend on your specific situation. So if you look behind me, I am currently still using my laptop. So I sold everything in anticipation for this. Um, I've been using the laptop for about six months, uh, basically since we moved from North Carolina. Um, I was lucky enough to get uh, a Zephyrus, it is an AMD machine uh, with an NVIDIA 2060 Max-Q, uh, so it easily can game, no issues there. This will be my first uh, attempt to re record and edit a video on this uh, laptop, so we'll see how that goes. But if it's any indication to you, I'm obviously waiting until I can get new hardware. I'm not just going to run out and buy uh, last-gen Intel uh, because it's available. Um, I think the new Ryzen CPUs, especially the 5600X, is great value for money. Uh, again, they're very hard to get right now, but I'm going to hold off and wait until I can get one. Uh, I've got a friend that I believe may have secured one for me, uh, so fingers crossed with that. Um, but again, for you, it's just going to depend on your current situation. Unless you don't have a computer and absolutely need one right this moment, I'm going to tell you to wait. Uh, please do not buy last-gen hardware. Uh, last-gen Ryzen CPUs, uh, they're great for productivity. Uh, they're not bad at all for gaming, especially in higher resolution. But uh, if you can wait, if at all possible, uh, their new CPUs are incredible for gaming, uh, as I'm sure all of you have seen from the reviews. So um, I've got a bad feeling that stock on those CPUs probably is not going to level out until the beginning of next year. So if you can make do with what you have right now, I would highly suggest uh, keeping an eye out for a Ryzen 5000 CPU um, and waiting to pull the trigger on that. Um, if you're specifically gaming, again, I would go for that 5600X. That's going to give you the best value for gaming right now. Um, they've positioned the 5800X in a very odd spot. Um, the way that it's priced, uh, it really doesn't make sense for gaming. Uh, it can make sense for workstation uh, production type tasks, but with the 5900X just above it at $100 more, uh, I think it really makes sense for you to just wait, uh, save up that extra $100 and go with a 5900X. Um, for me, even though I am planning on doing some production tasks some video editing, um, I'm going to go with the 5600X. Uh, I've got a feeling the 5900X is going to take a little bit longer to get. Um, I may switch to that in the future depending on the workflow and depending on how well the 5600X does for editing. Um, but I use DaVinci Resolve for editing, uh, which means it does rely heavily on the GPU. Um, and that brings me to the subject of GPUs. So, should you buy NVIDIA now, RTX 3000 series? Should you wait a few weeks and go with AMD's 6000 series? Well, I think the bigger question of that is whether or not you'll actually be able to get your hands on either one of them. Um, right now, RTX 3000 
GPUs are incredibly hard to get. Um, everything, unfortunately, because of the pandemic and supply issues is very hard to get right now. Uh, so again, if you can make do with what you currently have, I would highly suggest doing that until you can secure uh, one of the new GPUs. Uh, one caveat to that. So if you were thinking about the RTX 3070 um, and you can get your hands on a used 2080 Ti, and if you're not very concerned with ray tracing uh, in games, I would say go for the 2080 Ti if you can get it for a reasonable price. Uh, it's got more VRAM and it's very, very similar in performance to the 3070. As far as production workloads, so things like video editing, what I'm going to be using my computer for. Um, initially, I was very excited for AMD's announcement of their RX 6000 series. Uh, the benchmarks look great. Um, obviously, you're going to want to take those with a grain of salt since they are from AMD, but we should have uh, second party benchmarks relatively soon. Um, so I was very excited for that um, for gaming. Uh, it looks like they are going to take NVIDIA to task with that, uh, but I have a personal hesitation with the 6000 series uh, and my use case, and that's for video editing. I use DaVinci Resolve for video editing, but this applies for Adobe as well. Um, a lot of video editing software does prefer CUDA right now, which is an NVIDIA uh, technology. Uh, if you go and look at uh, Puget Systems benchmarks for uh, GPUs and video editing. Um, NVIDIA has a pretty significant advantage with their CUDA technology. Um, I think right now uh, Vega 64 actually may do better in video editing than uh, something like a 5700 XT. So um, obviously we'll have to wait and see how the 6000 series does with video editing. Uh, AMD may surprise us with that, but um, if you're primarily a gamer, um, I would say look at the 6000 series, something like a 6800 or a 6800 XT. Um, they're going to give you, in my opinion, better value than the uh, NVIDIA 3000 counterpart. Uh, but you may want to wait and see how benchmarks play out if you do uh, something like video editing like I do as NVIDIA could potentially wipe the floor with the 6000 series when it comes to video editing because of that CUDA technology. And again, as I mentioned earlier when I was discussing the 3070 versus the 2080 Ti, um, if ray tracing is important to you in games, uh, you may want to look at the 3000 series over uh, what AMD is bringing to the table this time around. Uh, they have not released any benchmarks for ray tracing in games, um, but I feel like that's a little telling in and of itself. Uh, I've got a feeling that Radeon 6000 is probably not going to be up to par uh, as far as ray tracing in games versus NVIDIA 3000. Uh, for me, that doesn't really matter. Um, even the games that I play that do have ray tracing, I very rarely, if at all, enable it. So to wrap things up, if you can wait, go ahead and wait. Um, I know it stinks waiting, um, but I think it will pay off in the long run. Another thing worth mentioning is most of the hardware that I've mentioned in this video is on the higher end. Um, now some of you may disagree about that, but I would consider $300 for a CPU and five to $800 for a GPU um, at the upper middle range to high end. So um, if you're watching this video and hearing me talk about all of these items and thinking, good Lord, I can't afford any of that anyway. Um, that's probably a blessing since you can't get any of it. And in that case, I would go ahead and look at something like the uh, AMD 3300X for the CPU uh, and maybe a uh, Radeon 5700 um, or an NVIDIA 2060 in that case. Um, I think it's going to be a while before we see uh, true mid-range or low-end cards uh, from NVIDIA or AMD. Uh, and again, even when we do, we're probably, unfortunately, still going to have these supply issues that you're seeing with the, uh, with the higher-end stuff. Um, I know it's unfortunate, but this is just where we're at at this point. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please get subscribed. Uh, make sure to hit that like button. We would greatly appreciate the support. 
Um, as soon as I'm able to get my hands on some new hardware, uh, again, probably a 5600X CPU uh, and an RTX 3080 GPU, I will be rebuilding my desktop rig and I'll absolutely be sharing that with you all. Um, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.